folks, this is Ted Bayhaus with Tech Rep Marketing. I have in front of me today uh, one of the PreSonus Studio Live 24 Series 3 mixers and a new addition to the family. This is the 24R mixer. Um, what's really cool about this and what's really long awaited is that we've wanted to have a stage box to work with the, uh, with the 24 and the 32 and the 16, so now we have it. Um, what's really unique about it, and I think one of the really cool things about the, uh, the, the platform in general, is that the connection between the stage box and the main mixer is just a real simple connection. It's a single Cat5 cable. It uses AVB, so we don't have to, we don't have to assign us, uh, IP addresses or anything like that. You simply just make one connection here, one connection there, and, uh, and then there's a menu item. If I go to the main menu, I just select uh, stage box mode and I put it in one of three modes and, uh, and we're good to go. And what's nice about this is, is that it just makes the whole setup process very, very simple and very, very fast. So you don't need a lot of technology to make this work. Actually, it's less technology than a standard stage, uh, stage box in a snake because you're not having to make 24 connections or 32 connections at the board or at the stage box. It's a single connection and then you just connect your mics based off of where you want it to go. So I'm gonna show you a little bit of how to get this set up and a little bit of how, um, you know, a couple of the different modes that the stage box works in so you can get an idea just uh, how simple the process really is. So we've made the connection to the cables and we're going to go to the audio routing screen here. Um, one thing you may want to make sure about is that you have the, uh, the, the cable connected to the proper port. So it's on the network port on both of the units. So as you can see here as I'm connecting it, uh, you connect it up to the network port on both units, not the control port, and uh, you should be good to go. Now we're going to push the uh, home key. This brings us up to this top menu here. I'm going to push audio routing. And there's a button here that says Stage Box Setup. And you can see that it recognized that there was a 24 connected to it. So we have that connected. Um, you have a little bit of channel routing that you can do here. So in this case, you can route in groups of eight channels. So one through eight, nine through 16, and 17 through 32. You can select where you want those to come up. So if you want one through eight to come up on 25 through 32, you can do that or however you want to have it set up. So you have a couple different ways that you can, uh, that you can do that. Um, one interesting thing is that you have three modes of operation on this. So right now I've got the unit set up in stage box mode. And on my laptop, this laptop right here is now connected to the 24 that I have uh, right underneath it. Uh, I have it connected via USB, so and I'm running the uh, universal control software on it. Um, as you see right here, it says stage box no mode, access not available. That's because I have it set up in straight state stage box mode. And what that means is, it means that uh, all of the inputs and the outputs are mirrored between the, uh, the 24 here and the, uh, and, the, and the mixer that's on the stage. So uh, what that does is that anything that you have going out, any output or any input is basically mirrored. I have two other modes of operations that I can do as well. So if I come back over here, and I click here and I click monitor mix mode. Now I've got it in monitor mix and when I apply that, you have to hit apply. You'll notice that now my UC Surface software has, uh, has come alive. And so now I can control this in a different operation that I had in stage box mode. In stage box mode, everything is done from front of house. Monitor mix mode, I can now set up separate mixes here for my outputs. I have separate inputs, the inputs are shared so anything that the front of house wants to grab from these inputs, they can do that as well. But also here, I have those same inputs that I can use for, for mixing the outputs locally on the, uh, on the stage. Um, the third mode of operation that's set up here, uh, by the way, in monitor mix mode, the, tr the preamps are trimmed from the front of house. So the front end house engineer has trim uh, control. Under the third way we can work, is, um, is what's called monitor mix plus preamps. And this lets the monitor engineer actually trim the preamps. And if you'll see right here in UC Surface software now, the preamp control becomes active. When I had this just set up in regular monitor mix, that trim preamp just kind of, the preamp trim disappeared when I did that. So those are the three modes of operation that you have. So you have a maximum amount of flexibility with, the, uh, with how you want to use this on, on stage.